This is Living Health TV. Welcome to Health 101 with me, Dr. Gwinga Adebayo, brought to you by Living Health International, your number one health and wellness solutions company. A professor of mine shared a story, and I want to share that story with you. This is one great reason why you should immunize your children, why you should give your children their shots. I'll be right back. So I decided to share on this topic and take it from another angle. But Professor Ora Patel shared a story with me that I thought it would be important to share with other people. A professor of medicine, a professor went to attend to a child. The child was brought in with symptoms, fever, run, and all those the gamut of things that we see with measles. And this professor was surprised. This child has measles. Measles in a developed country. Measles in Israel. If this story had ended there, we say, okay, yeah, the child had measles, yet one more case of measles in a resurgence of measles that we are seeing in the developed world. But the story did not end there. This professor, this teacher, this helper of life, so to speak, guess what happened to her? She also came down with measles. And adults coming down with measles, why how did that happen? She was immunocompromised. She was the recipient of a kidney transplant to prolong her own life. And yet still helping other people. Because of her immunocompromised state, she came down with measles. And she was out of commission for months. This month, for many months, all this time she was out, she could not see more patients. She could not take care of other people. Her students could not benefit from our wisdom. Our teachers could not rely on our, our co-teachers, our colleagues that depended on our wealth of experience and insight could not draw on that uh, knowledge. Why? Somebody decided not to vaccinate their child. The child came down with measles and she now got this dreaded disease. See, um, there are many arguments, and one day on this show, we'll go back over them again. Why people choose not to immunize their children. And there are some also that say why you should vaccinate your children. I, I know parents that choose not to vaccinate their children think that they are doing those kids a favor. They think they are doing what is best for them. Parenting is hard. Parenting is, is we making the tough choices to protect our kids. I'd like to say to you, everyone that is listening, everyone that is watching, vaccines are safe. No vaccine company has paid me. No, I, I don't have any interest. I don't have any association with any vaccination company. I am not immunocompromised. I, my, my kids are vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. So my, my saying this is not because I've been bought. The person that published the story uh, that, that gave well to this fire of, they published a report of this unvax movement. This man was paid. Uh, you do a little bit of research. It was paid and the story, this report has been totally discredited. Measles, MMR vaccine does not cause autism. Every time you choose not to vaccinate your child, one of the things that you do is number one, you reduce the herd immunity. It gets to a critical condition, a state, a critical percentage of people that if uh, a critical mass of people in a community are not immunized, that community becomes especially at risk to that disease. They lose, so to speak, the herd immunity. Particularly people that could not get vaccinated for one reason or the other. For instance, this professor that could not get vaccinated, why? Because she was uh, understandably immunocompromised, but having taken a transplant, being on immunosuppressive drugs, so that her body does not reject um, this uh, transplanted organ. She came down with this disease, and so it is with people in the community. When you make this decision, you are not just affecting your child or yourself, you are arming other people. You are arming other people. This is one more reason why you should vaccinate your children. Please take your vaccines. Vaccines are largely safe. The vaccines against measles, against whooping cough, pertussis, against diphtheria, against this old of diseases, 
they are safe. These public health relevant diseases are safe. Please, let's not turn back the, the end of progress. Let's not go back to the ages where polio was ravaging the, the old world. Vaccinate your children. As you do so, uh, you will be helping your kids and you will be helping the community at large. Thank you for taking your time to watch this episode of Health 101. Until we come your way again next time, please consider sharing this with friends and loved ones. Stay inspired. God bless you.